Froggy plays in the band, written by Jonathan London, illustrated by Frank Rankiewicz. Frog At school one day, Froggy read a sign. It said, "Marching band contest, big prize." Great," said Froggy. "A band contest." He flopped over to see Miss Martin, the music teacher. Flop, flop, flop. What's the big prize? Asked Froggy. It's a surprise, she said. If you and your friends start a marching band and compete against the other schools in the Apple Blossom Parade, you can win the prize. What will I play? Wondered Froggy. Then he remembered his dad' old sax. And after school, he flopped up to the attic, flop, 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 and started blowing his dad's horn, honk, bleep, screech. Froggy called his dad. What? Quiet, please. I'm on the phone. I'm on the phone too," cried Froggy. "The saxophone, honk." Next day, Froggy got his band together and they practiced in his yard. Max on drums, kaboom, Leah on triangle, ting a ring, Emma on recorder. Twiddledoo, and Hannah, her twin, on cymbals. Clash. I want to join too," said Froggy Lena. "What do you play?" asked Froggy. "Nothing," she said. "But I can do this." And she twirled the baton, tossed it high in the air, and caught it behind her back. Ta-da! Every day after school, Froggy's ragtag band marched around and round the playground. Honk, kaboom, tingling, twiddledee, clash. And every day, Miss Martin told them the rules for marching. Don't look left, don't look right, and don't stop for anything. What if you have to go to the bathroom? Asked Froggy. Don't stop for anything, commanded Miss Martin, or everybody behind you will crash into you. Three weeks left. Two weeks. One. Froggy practiced marching everywhere, even in his sleep. At last, the big day came. The apple trees had burst into bloom, and the parade was ready to begin. Everybody was nervous, especially Froggy. Miss Martin said, "Now remember, don't look left, don't look right, and don't stop for anything." And the parade began. Being the youngest, Froggy's band marched in front, led by the Majorettes, the one and only Froggylina. Froggy called his father. He was jumping up and down on the sidelines, but Froggy didn't look. Froggy called his mother. She was aiming a camera, but Froggy 
didn't look. Cameras flashed, clown threw candy, and still Froggy marched, looking straight ahead. Here came the judges' stand. This was the big moment. Frogelina tore her baton. She tossed it high in the air, and Froggy thought, "Don't look left, don't look right," and bonk. Her baton hit him on the hat, and knocked him down. Oops! cried Froggy, looking more red in the face than green. Oof! Clang! Crash! And the rest of the parade piled on. Froggy! called Miss Martin. What? came a muffled cry. Are you alright? Froggy crawled out from the bottom of the hip and said, "Don't stop for anything," and started to wail a wide swamp tune on his saxophone. <coughs> the rest of his band joined in, and everybody danced in the street. And when the judges' vote came in. Froggy's ragtag band had won a special award, coolest marching band at the Apple Blossom Parade. What's the big prize? Asked Froggy. This is said Frogelina, and she gave him a big juicy kiss and smack on his cheek. Yeah. Then the judges gave Froggy and his band the real prize, a big golden trophy in the shape of a saxophone. Yes, cried Froggy, and Froggy's ragtag band played on one last time. Honk, kaboom, tingling, twiddle do, clash. Two, two, two.